All right, Doc. Listen, I want to thank you very much for the time and for the checkup. Well, it wasn't much of a checkup, but you're welcome. Now, if you locate Mr. Williamson, tell him to contact me immediately. Right. I will. I'll do that. Are you looking for something? Uh, do you have a lighter? You won't find one here, Lieutenant. And let me give you some free medical advice. Stop smoking those things. Well, I, I've been trying. Trying isn't good enough. Remember, I deal in pacemakers. Got a match? No, no tire tracks we can use. Got a match? I'm sorry, I don't. Looks like they've been here for no. months. No prints, just smudges. Money? Just change, no currency. You got a match? No. Yeah, no, sorry. Got a match? Yeah, sure. Oh, we're all finished here. You can load it up. May I help you, sir? Oh. Well, I'm not a customer. No, I assume that. Uh, you're looking for someone? Yes, I was looking for a uh, Beth Chadwick. Miss Chadwick? Yeah. My name is uh, Lieutenant Columbo. The police? Well, look, now, it's not serious. I just want to talk to her for a moment. Oh. Well, right through that door, Lieutenant. Cubicle four. Thank you. Uh, Lieutenant? Your cigar? What about it? Uh... Or oh, the fragrance is not um, compatible. See, that's a shame. I just lit it. Oh. Hung up. The phone was ringing every few minutes, so I thought I'd answer it. I hope you don't mind. I'm very sorry that I wasn't here to help you, sir, but I've been very busy taking dictation. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, sir. Uh, may I get that for you? Thank you. All those cigarettes yours? Yes. May I tell you something? Yes. Whenever I see a pretty young girl like you doing all that smoking, I say to myself, why does she take the chance? Hey, wait a minute. My cigar. Hey, uh, can I light that for you? No, no, thanks. Trying to cut down. All I do is chew them lately. Why don't you chew a cheaper cigar? I don't want to cut down on my standard of living. Excuse me, where do you get those cigars? <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret, Lieutenant. They're from Cuba. A friend of mine brings them in for me. They yeah, look terrific. You know, these fellas that I smoke, uh, pick these up here at the supermarket. Be my guest. Oh. Thank you very much. I'll just take one. <laughs> I'm out of shape, sir. No question. No cigars you smoke? They're gonna kill you. Take a seat, Lieutenant. Oh, and this, if you don't mind. Oh, please, sir. Uh, I would rather you didn't smoke. Uh, I'm sorry. The fumes destroy the, uh, the delicate taste of good wine. I, I know some people believe that a good cigar goes with a glass of wine, but I'm afraid I feel they clash. I'm sure you understand. Absolutely. Drop my cigar. Is that it there, Lieutenant? Where? Under there. Wait a minute. I don't want to burn up the commissioner's car. Oh, I got it. I grabbed the wrong end. Come here, you little rascal. OK. That looks OK. 
Excuse me, no, sir. What is it? In the ashtray, please. Is it all right if I just hold it? Company policy, no smoking on the premises. Would you like to try one of quality for a change? Well, thank you very much. Will you join me? I, I didn't know you used them. One a day. Well, they feel very good. And they smell very good, too. Sergeant. Just one more thing. <laughs> 